in the name of God who creates, God who redeems, God who sustains. Amen. Amen. When I was about five years old, Mother took me to the grand opening of Woolworth's five and ten cent store. It was the biggest store I ever saw, laden with toys and trinkets. The shelves connected one to another to another to another. I was mesmerized as I followed the tables of treasures down the aisle, around the corner, to another aisle and another corner, and suddenly I looked up, I was lost and scared, really scared. With all the five-year-old logic I could muster, I decided to crawl under a nearby cabinet to hide from the monsters I imagined to be lurking around the next corner. Mother frantically ran up and down the aisles, and then she spotted my Mary Jane shoes sticking out from beneath the cabinet. Found at last. Mother scooped me up, hugged me tightly as tears rolled down her cheeks. We headed for the door, and I was sure I was headed for a spanking to teach me a lesson about wandering away. We passed by the gleaming, long lunch counter and Mother stopped and lifted me onto the high counter stool covered in bright red leather. Then she ordered a three-scoop banana split with extra whipped cream and a cherry on top. She said we needed to celebrate because she found me. That day, Mother did teach me a lesson, an important lesson about love. Today, Jesus is with the crowd, teaching them lessons about the kingdom of God. Tax collectors, sinners, all sorts of unsavory characters join the crowd. The scribes and the Pharisees are not pleased. They shake their heads. They grumble. This fella takes sinners in, welcomes them, eats meals with them, treats them like they are old friends. In response to their grumbling, Jesus tells a couple of stories. Jesus talks about things they are familiar with, things they value. A shepherd. A shepherd values the health and safety of his sheep. Jesus says, suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one. Would you not leave the 99 and go and to leave the 99 in the wilderness and go and search for the lost one until you find it and place it across your shoulders, rejoicing. And when you get home, call your family and your friends and say, celebrate with me. I have found my lost sheep. Next, Jesus tells a story about a woman who values her hard-earned money. Jesus says, imagine 
A woman has 10 silver coins. She loses one. Then she lights a lamp, searches the house, every nook and cranny, until she finds the coin. Rejoicing, she calls her friends and neighbors and family and says, let's have a party. I found my lost coin. Jesus looks at the crowd and says, you would do this, would you not? Search and search and search and search some more. You would do this, wouldn't you? No. No. Leave 99 and go search for one stray sheep? No. Become totally fixated on one lost coin? No. No, Jesus. No. We would cut our losses, take a deduction on our income taxes, and just move on. Oh, we might have a little sympathy for the poor little sheep, maybe hurt, scared, but a lost coin? Hard to take pity on an inanimate object. And come to think of it, the sheep and the coin did nothing to assist in their rescue. Rescue was totally dependent on the shepherd and the woman. That is the point. This morning, Jesus is not teaching us a lesson about economics. This morning, Jesus is teaching you and me something about the nature of God. God's nature is love. Love. Love is like a shepherd who takes risk for one lost sheep. Love is like a woman who searches high and low for one lost coin. Love is like God who tirelessly seeks and searches high and low, far and near, for the lost. There is no giving up. There is no giving up. When the world was lost in sin and darkness, God put on flesh and blood, skin and bones, in the person of Jesus. Jesus came searching and searching, searching for lost sheep, lost coins, lost brothers, lost sisters, lost tax collectors, lost all sorts of unsavory characters, lost people, lost pets, lost Pharisees, lost scribes, the lost, the lost. There are times in life when no matter how hard you try to stay focused, you get distracted and you wander away from the flock. Times when life gets messy, chaotic, 
and you find yourself lost in the dark. There are times in your life when all you want to do is just crawl under a cabinet and hide from the monsters you imagine. Remember, remember, no matter how far you stray, no matter how lost or lonely or frightened or forgotten you feel, there is always one who is searching for you. Always. High and low, near and far, in the wilderness of the world, in the darkest corner of the night. Up and down and down and up the aisles of life. There is no giving up. There is no giving up. There will come a moment when you will Feel God's loving presence. There will come a moment, maybe when you feel the loneliest you've ever felt, maybe when the dark is so deep you think you'll never see the light, there will come a moment when you will feel God's loving presence lifting you up, embracing you with God's peace, assuring you that you are not alone, Assuring you that you are found, found at last. This morning, Jesus Christ says to you and me, Come, come, rejoice with me, rejoice. Come, let's have a party. Come, let's eat a little bread. Let's drink a little wine. Let's share a meal together. Come, rejoice, celebrate. Because you are found. You are found. Celebrate. Amen.